Good morning YouTube. I'm OGF. This is Rage and we're on our way to KTM Washi to start the orange ride. Now I have my buddy Rahul back there on his motorcycle. We're both heading to Washi first to start off the Mumbai chapter of this ride. And uh, simultaneously there's people at the Wakre Wadi showroom in Pune uh, who are starting the Pune chapter of the ride as well. Nice to see bikers out on a Sunday morning. Both the Mumbai and the Pune ride are going to end at Sheetal Daba, which is in Lunavla. And after that, we're all going to chill out, hang out, play a few games and have a few activities conducted for us as well over there. So it should be an interesting Sunday morning ride. Let's continue when there's a little more daylight or when we reach the showroom. See ya. Alright, we're just a few meters away from the destination point and I believe it should be here. Alright, so we're here at the KTM showroom in Vashi. We're just completing the registration formalities and uh, getting our bibs and our orange bands as well. We'll be starting the ride in a few minutes from now but before that uh, there's going to be a few pictures, a uh, few videos recorded and then uh, we're going to fly the drone as well. So I'll see you guys around in a bit. So I've got my orange bib now. It is 8 o'clock, about 8.10 actually. And uh, let me show you the lineup. We're about to start. I'll try and keep it close to about 60 or 70 at the most. We don't want to be having people going batshit crazy on this ride, especially considering the massive numbers that KTM has been able to gather for this ride. A lot of people joining a KTM ride for the first time, myself included, and uh, quite a few people from my conversations as well who've been riding mostly in the city, and this is their first weekend ride or breakfast ride whatever you want to call it so I think it's important that the experienced riders kind of set an example on this ride builds a biking culture have to meet this guy behind me on the Duke 390 I'll try and remember what helmet he's wearing seems like a very disciplined rider as well so I didn't get your name your name is I'm Priyan Priyan nice to meet you man yeah, so we just made it here to uh, Kalamboli McDonald's. The entire group is gathering together. I think quite a few people got left behind. They're just catching up now, considering the pace which was set very early on. Uh, what I'm going to try and do now is I'm going to try and stick with the group which is uh, riding close to around 60 or 70 kilometers an hour and uh, kind of stay with that pack and lead them. We'd probably have uh, Mohit go up front with the faster group and try and keep that under control as well. It was really nice of KTM to kind of give these orange jerseys to everyone as well. I think they've invested quite a lot on this mega ride of theirs and most of the customers look happy with what they've received. We've got our fancy ready to race bands over here. Alright, now that we've um, got everyone together, we're now going to head to Lonavla, probably make a stop at uh, Data Snacks on the way. That's one way of filtering out people in this group ride. Learning on the way, learning on the way. Finally some open roads ahead of us. Not like we're going to gun it or anything, but it's always nice to have smooth, winding roads ahead of us. The weather has been kind to us today. Um, hasn't been too cold, although winter has officially announced itself. And uh, although the sun is out right now, not really feeling hot. In fact, it's nice and chilly. In case you're thinking that these rides are just a way of getting the brand 
a little more publicity? Well, they kind of are because these many riders wearing orange jerseys riding around uh, Lonavla is a good promotion for any brand. But uh, at the same time, what it does is it connects the owners and enthusiasts of these motorcycles as well. Because when we stopped and before we started, there were a lot of conversations being had about how long you've had the motorcycle for, what have you done to it, where all have you gone, and so on and so forth. And that's always a nice atmosphere to walk into uh, for any owner, whether new or old. I think if these rides are conducted in the right way, what they could also help do is uh, nurture the new riders into the riding community and kind of teach them the right values and instill some discipline in their style of riding. There's quite a few brands globally that have uh, been able to connect with their consumers and potential consumers as well because of the way they market not just the motorcycle but the entire experience of owning a motorcycle and riding in a group as well. I don't want to take names right now because obviously we had a KTM event and I don't want to put down any other brands but some people in turn get accused of uh, selling the experience versus actually selling a good motorcycle. But uh, KTM on the other hand, at least in India, have uh, focused not just on quality but also in delivering the right kind of experience and I'm not just saying that because I'm invited for this event think about it logically they were one of the few companies that introduced performance motorcycles to India at an affordable price and when the sales of the Duke 390 and the Duke 200 and the RC200 and the RC390 were doing well KTM could have just sat back and watched the cash flow in but uh, what they did in turn was add updates to the motorcycles even without the graphical updates which came later because a lot of people were customizing them on their own but uh, they added very minor tweaks and nibbles here and there the rear monoshock was updated for one because uh, there was a bit of dust getting into the oil seals and messing that up so they came up with a new rear monoshock which has that entire place enclosed so there's no chance of that happening very minute tweaks like adding a flap or rubber flap to prevent uh, muck from going on to your rear monoshock as well that was another update they also for the dukes introduced a rubber mud flap on the front fender as well to prevent dust from going into your radiator and kind of messing up your cooling system and uh, very little tweaks here and then in fact to get into all of it would take really long but they kept on sneaking in updates to the motorcycles every now and then and and that has helped these motorcycles to stay running for so long because I've had this motorcycle now for the best part of three years and the only real time I've had a problem with it is when someone actually messed around with the spark plug on the bike on my way to Gujarat but apart from that it's been smooth sailing Alright, so we stopped just before Lonavla here at the guard section waiting for everyone to regroup so that we can move together as an entire unit and then we should be back on our way to Lonavla and Sheetal Dadaba Quite a nice view from here, I don't know if you can see it if the GoPro allows you to um, There's a bit of fog going on over there and back there as well, I think that's a better view of the guard though I don't know if these trees will allow you to see it uh, quite a few super bikes and other brands of motorcycles around here as well. It is a Sunday and everyone's out for their breakfast rides. Nice to see that kid with his dad over here as well. As far as possible, I'm going to try and keep the group in the middle of this expressway because it is risky on either side and at least you'll have more time to react. Holy just when I said that, at least you'll have more time to react to people doing weird shit here. Okay, now we just passed the last toll naka before we reach Sheetal Dadaba. Should be somewhere ahead on the left. Hopefully I don't overshoot it because I'm leading right now. So I'll, I'll try and go a little slower and keep an eye out for it. A little bit of off-roading. Oh, 
Oh, okay then. I think here should be good. All right, we are here at Sheetal Daba in uh, Lonavla. We've just parked our bikes outside and come in to chill out a bit. Interacting with a few subscribers, it's so nice to see so many of you riding KTMs as well and coming up to me and saying that you watch my videos, it's very humbling always. There's going to be an unveiling of the Duke 125 as well and a lot of people have been waiting to see that in person. We've seen internet images of it but seeing it up close and personal is a whole other experience altogether. I'm also going to get to do a motor vlogging session over here as well with a few people who are looking to either start YouTube or who look up to other YouTubers as well and want to know a little more about how everything works. Finally, you're going to have some food and uh, relax for a bit because that's what Sunday rides are all about, relaxing with friends. I'm going to catch you guys in a bit and I'll see you on the flip side. Take care. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town I'm searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like a blazing flare In the midst of everything that's going on around us, it's really nice to find some like-minded bikers as well and these kind of events really pull them together. I met quite a few other motor vloggers as well, big or small doesn't really matter as long as they're motor vloggers. Interact with them, we shared ideas and whatnot and who knows, maybe our videos will look better going forward. We made some new friends over here as well and we're going to be riding back with them to Mumbai in a few seconds and uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a wonderful Sunday. I want to thank KTM for inviting me for this event and I want to congratulate them as well on the success of this event because from what I hear, this is one of the better events that they've organized in the recent past and everyone around seemed to be very happy with it. I hope I can be a part of more of these events going forward and I hope more events like this can help bring the biking community together and strengthen the biking culture here in Mumbai and in India for that matter as well with KTM. Thank you again so much for watching the video. If you liked what you saw, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, well, please share feedback. As always, at least wear your helmets while riding your motorcycles and ride safe. It's a freaking jungle out there. Goodbye. If you really bitch this paper, uh, the whisper I'm going all in and no matter the outcome They told me I had it and now I'm relapsing And how could you ask me out? I'm not Malcolm And how could you doubt me? You heard my first album And who had the nerve to think I was done with? I left the game graciously for you to run with Like that in my blueprint, going in front then Time that you had and it's what you come with, hold up